Hi and welcome to September's uh, Polytonal Update. Outside, friendship plants are still flowering. They're dying back now, they've gone through the thing. It's September, bit of overcast day, um, and it's doing amazing there now. I think hopefully you'll really, really like it when we go inside. So, uh, no uh, hanging around, let's go inside. So here we are, we're inside. Um, just a little bit of a harvest here. Um, we've got sort of, uh, you'll see it off the plant, we just picked all the ties off and everything like that. We've got like habs, all sorts, but um, basketfuls of chilies. And this is only a small thing. So this is a basket, that's probably two kilograms. We're probably gonna get uh, another, probably 20 at least kilos out of here. So uh, I'll drop them down and let's have a, let's have a little guided walk around. Oh, that's heavy. Um, Guys, you can already see behind me, um, the plants are just doing phenomenal. We did have a bit of an aphid attack, okay? Um, and speaking to a lot of growers in the UK, they've had aphid attacks as well. So um, what we've done is, um, what we do is drop down now. So if Sophie can come down, is you'll, you'll see what we've done is we stripped a lot of the, the bottom leaves away. Um, this just helps get the air through. Helps us keep a good uh, eye on what the plants are doing, everything like that, and what's going underneath the plants. As you can see, um, you know, you've got a chocolate, uh, this is a habanero, habalochia. Um, it's doing really, really well. Loads on there, really, really good colour. And basically, we're just going to strip off the plant. But you'll be able to see, sort of behind me, that you've just got a sort of curtain of beautiful colours and everything there. The old Fatalii, absolutely superb. I've um, done a few photos of this, um, really, really great chilli. And it just contrasts. We try, um, one of the things we try and do is we just put, try and put different colours around uh, our tunnel. Just gives you a bit of sort of, bit of interest, bit of colour and everything like that. So that's the first stage. So we've taken all the leaves out, let the air get under, underneath. So that's one way of helping out. Get the old hose pipe in, real good jet wash, introduce some more predators. And there we go. So um, Super Chili's doing fine. What we do is just take a walk up here, and it, you know, and we these posts that we put in. If you remember, we talked about them strapping up Bangalore whippet style. Um, it's almost the same height as me. And look, we're still getting flowers. Yeah, we're still getting flowers because we've been stripping the pods off. We're getting flowers, so we're getting new growth, um, new shoots coming up. I mean, look, look at this. Look, look at that. So we're getting new shoots, new growth. All coming up, new flowers. So it's we've had a bit of a mini and sort of mini Indian heat wave, but I mean, like you can see in the top of here. This, you know, if you were looking at this at any other time of the year, so early in the year, you think it's a brand new plant. Um, look at it. It's just just leaves. There's new leaves. There's thing. The chances are we probably won't get any pods off that. It's a bit late in the year. It depends on how the winter sets in. So we'll have a look at that. Um, our infamous overwintered um, tie. As you can see, it's, oh, we've harvested it. We've got loads and loads. I mean, look, there's just flowers on it everywhere. Um, now there's a good chance that we'll still get, and these will do, will actually go um, and turn red. But as you can see, we've taken probably a, a kilo or two off already, which is oh close to probably almost a thousand pods, and that is absolutely doing fantastic. I mean, look, we're just fighting for space in here at the moment. Um, Carolina Reapers, let's have a look, let's come, come on down. There's a bit of a jungle warfare here, but, um, ooh, I'll just rip my early shorts then. Okay, we've got some lovely, look, I'm gonna pick this one off because I, I think this is a beautiful beauty. But, you know, you've got that. Look at the classics on there. And uh, I've got my mobile phone pinging and doing all sorts, but there you go. But look at that. No, I'm not gonna eat it, all right? So, but uh, I'll save that one for later. But the, as you can see, it's just got loads and loads of color. I've got air circulating underneath and it's looking absolutely fantastic. So our uh, duo grows here, okay, they're doing absolutely fantastic. So these are uh, greenhouse sensations, uh, I'll put a link up. Doing really, really well, lovely system, really like it. And we've put this tomato supporting rack, which um, helps just keep the plants. You can see, see, you can see a lot more things now easily because we've stripped the leaves back. So it just makes it a bit easier. Um, and over in the other corner, oh, yeah, you're down there somewhere, are you? Hello, right? <laughs> okay, we've got Caroline Reaper in there, and we've got Jay's um, Peach Ghost Scorpion in the in the corner. Um, well, they're starting, almost starting to turn, but we've got those in there. Air's getting through. It's feeling a lot cooler. So, at the moment, I mean, the pods are doing fantastic. It's getting a secondary life. I mean, there's all these things now. 
this is the time now really when you want to be starting to think about um, possibly selecting a few plants to overwinter. Put the link in. Now we would be looking for sort of pot size and obviously if you, you've got a home or something like that, a uh, conservatory that you could overwinter in, keep an eye on the nighttime temperatures. It's now September, um, this is when the nighttime temperatures start uh, dropping in the northern hemisphere. Now 14 degrees C, that's our sort of minimum that we go for, and, you know, and we keep an eye on the forecast. Now, as you see, these are in large pots, so we will not be able to overwinter all of them. However, we will try and overwinter a few. One of the things that we'll be looking at, if there's going to be a fairly chilly night, is we're going to get a fleece and just fleece over the plant, because that will actually give it a bit more protection. Probably going to select, now hopefully we're going to take that tie, all right, he's in a, he's in a big pot. Take that tie and overwinter that, and then we get a third year. Um, in fact, should we have a look at the store? But if you come down, look, right down at the bottom, you can see. I mean, look at this. this look at the girth of that. There's, there's my thumb for comparison. Lovely and woody. Um, absolutely superb plant. So, with that one, what we will probably try and do is take that one and actually overwinter it. Um, so, it's, it's the sort of time now you want to be sort of like earmarking and making preparations for your growing area and if you want to overwinter. It is worth overwintering. You're, you're going to get an earlier crop, a better crop. You've seen it on the tie. Um, but it's just out of interest. So if you have got one little plant, try it. It's always worth a try. There's not much effort. As I said, the video link will be putting up anyway. Um, just follow that. I'll give you some tips and hints and things like that. But apart from that, it's been... It's been... I say an exceptional year. It's, it's been a very good year. Um, like I said, we've had our aphid attack. You know, we're not immune from anything. We're, you know, we don't claim to be the world's best growers or anything like that. But you know, we grow like most of you out there. And um, yeah, you know, we're happy. We've got loads of chilies. We're gonna. Um, we'll still got a few competitions for the end of the year. And then um, some of them we we'll just make things, cook things, probably have a little few sauces and stuff like that. But guys, please below just. Um, like share and subscribe if you haven't already and then basically if you want get on our social media Facebook Twitter Instagram to share some of your photos because um, we've seen some amazing photos um, and thanks to Jonathan Harvey out there all the other guys I, I keep forgetting everyone's names um, amazing pictures share and just share your experiences and, and things like that so until next time hopefully maybe one in October until next time thank you very much goodbye